Senator Ralph Babette, he's one of the fearless voices in Parliament. He opens up the issues where many others prefer to bite their tongues, hoping the inconvenient problems all just fade away. Senator Babette this week protested against a drag queen story time for children that was being planned by the Monash Council in Victoria. Hundreds of people turned up to tell the council to keep men in ladyface away from their children and out of public libraries. I've shown you many times the sort of things that happen at similar family-friendly drag queen events in the US, and now it looks like the early sexualisation of children could be on its way here. Well, I'm delighted to say that uh, the UAP Senator, Ralph Babette, joins me now. Senator, I've got to ask you quickly, and we are really pushed for time, what was the protest about? It was about parents not wanting their children ex exposed to what, frankly, is entirely adult concepts on sex, gender and trans ideology. That's what it was about. Now, I'm going to read you some of the books that are, for, that are going to be read to these kids uh, on, on this drag story time. They include books that are called Jacob's School Play Starring He, She and They, which introduces readers to gender identity and pronoun use. And She's My Dad, that tells the story of a child whose dad is actually a transgender woman. And another one, The Hips on a Drag Go Swish, 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 which is il illustrating to kids between one to six years of age, by the way, Corey, about how a drag queen works it, works it, Corey. People are sick of this ideology being pushed on kids, and I'm here to stand up for these people. If you want to do this to an over 18 crowd, no problem. But kids, kids are off limits. Support me, get behind me, and let's put an end to this kind of stuff. I agree with you 100%, right? But I wonder whether we're out of touch here. The event was sold out, Senator. There were, so there are plenty of parents out there who want their children, their one to six year olds, knowing that drag queens' hips go swish, swish, swish. I can't believe it myself. But how do you respond to that? Well, Corey, when they say sold out, last I checked, it was sold out to 15 people. Now, even if they go on to, to sell 50, 100, 200 tickets, the municipality of Monash has 40,000 families. It's still a drop in the ocean. This stuff is fringe stuff. Don't let the media fool you into thinking that this stuff is mainstream and it's acceptable by normal, everyday, ordinary people. It's not. The media is lying to you, and I'm sure everyone out there knows this. This stuff is fringe. We're pushing against it and we want it to end, Corey. You're absolutely right, Senator. And I've got to tell you this, that if anyone has any concerns about or doesn't have concerns, just go and Google the names of some drag queens out there and you'll understand that this is a highly sexualised concept and it has no business being in front of kids. Senator, I'm really sorry that I am out of time. We've got a shortened show, but we will have a chat another time and uh, get your views perhaps on the budget uh, when next we speak. Thanks very much for your time, Senator Ralph Babette.